Hey guys, it's Jimmy Sackle. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I wanted to bring you a, a message, this idea of how we apply scripture uh, in our lives. And from time to time, I use Experiencing God just about every day. But there's a, a devotional resource um, called Lead Like Jesus. Um, and Lead Like Jesus and also Young Life that I'm a part of um, use this idea of uh, hiding scripture in your heart. And... I might have talked about it in the past, but the idea there is that the memorization of Scripture is good, you know. If you, but but to really have it in your heart for application later, in other words, hidden for later application when something happens in life, is really better. Is really the ideal, and because to just have it memorized is like you're a contestant on Jeopardy, and you know facts, right? But without the application. Um, it kind of dies, right? It just dies in your mind. It's like a, it's like a trick. You, you know it. It's like a memorization trick. And I should do this more often, but the, the one way that I do it is with the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians, which is my favorite section of Scripture in terms of a, something I can go back to all the time. And last night, you know, my wife and I, we have these so-called Irish twins, you know, these back-to-back -back children and jobs and some ministry stuff and just extremely busy and blessed, but but busy. And last night I'm walking the dog around, I don't know, 8.30, and a day that started at 6.30. And um, just thought to myself about Galatians and the fruit of the Spirit. And just as I'm walking the dog, I'm repeating to myself, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. You know, all those qualities that, the fruit that I want in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Um, hope I'm not missing any. And that, to me, is a is a good mantra to return to, is the fruit of the Spirit. That, that those should be qualities, um, ideal qualities that you would want manifested in your life. And I find that the more that I pray, and the more that I pause to reflect, and the more that I get into Scripture, and the more that I repeat sections like that, being my favorite section.